My heart breaks for Wills. Thank the Lord, he has found a real gem in the Princess of Wales. Her Royal Highness, Princess Catherine, has proven she is there for him. Loves him dearly and are a wonderful team. And that's what we see a team. They live in the most opulent extreme. But yet we seem to feel and find a humble with them when they step out because we watch them interact with the people. We watch them actually want to be in situ. We watch them bring their kids in. We watch them with their families around them, this foundation, this secure, this happy, in how it, positivity is their brand, in how that spreads and it opens up, you know? I speak about the aftermath of abuse. I speak about that PTSD, about that trauma you went through. And now for me, in my life, a non-doctor, non-expert, it has impacted me. I could never relate to William and Harry, who cut only those two, two brothers who lost a mom, who lost a mom, who not only a princess, but she was Princess Diana. Pedestal, incredible, the people's princess. They had to step out and shake their hands and greet the people as they said goodbye to their mum. As they watched the tears roll down the people's faces and they couldn't shed their own. That is damaging. And I, I, I do not believe that any children of the royal family would ever have to go through that again. Sometimes in life, right? people learn by their mistakes and I would hope not to see that again and I don't believe I would. But the aftermath for me is a place I was stuck in where I was basking in this feeling of sadness, anger, why me? Just constantly stuck in the past trying to somewhat change it in my mind, someone to validate me, someone to come along but I realised that had to come from me. I had to find the healing from me. I met a good man who stood by me through all my downs, through my ups, who, who probably encouraged and enabled me to speak out like I do today. And that's the difference, you know, we watch Catherine give him that family, that normal family everything he could have dreamed and what we've watched with Harry is the dark side of how someone can come along and take your trauma and help it along in my opinion in watching on the coercive control the manipulation the grabbing the emasculation it's on a loop constantly red flags for me after growing up in abuse I see it on the world stage in front of my face, a giant trigger to watch on. This is the difference with going through a traumatic event in having someone to come along to be a team with you and someone coming along to manipulate you. Now I get angry with Harry as much as I understand and I see the red flags because at some point You've got to see it for yourself. You've got to want better. You've got to want to give a better chapter to your children. You, Nothing he does or any revenge he gets by typing in books is gonna change that day his mom left. William knows that because Catherine, in what she's brought in healing, in giving, He's opened his life and mind to the bigger picture. He's thinking, he's reflecting, he's understanding everything. Where we watch Meghan based Harry as he basks in the pain and trauma. And it's really sad, but frustrating to watch. But that's the thing, that's what they do. They make you the face of the hate. They do, you know, through growing up in that. I looked at my mom with disrespect and, and frustration. How could you do this? But I say that and I get all of this, but then I look at Harry collecting an award in using his dad as clickbait for cancer and for, and I think like how? 
How could you do this to your brother? How? How can you just carry on? Like, you are the perfect person in the world when we've done nothing but watch you take the hand of abuse and abuse another. It's mind-boggling. It's frustrating. It's sad. It's divisive, like Pat Tillman's mum said. It, it's emotive. And for anyone who's experienced abuse like me, it's conflicted because I know it and some days I look on and think, oh no, Harry, please save yourself and get away. Then other days I feel like you deserve everything you get for treating another that way, you know? Obviously, all my opinions, like a true movie review, placed out in front of you because they've placed their life and everyone else's pain out in front of me. And yeah, 